In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college basketball games happening on December 20, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college basketball games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. St. Louis Blues vs. Seattle Kraken The St. Louis Blues face the Seattle Kraken with both teams looking to build off of promising starts to the season. The Blues have a 16-15-1 record and are in the middle of the Central Division while the Kraken have a 17-10-3 record and are near the top of the Pacific Division. Both teams are looking to improve within the division and the Western Conference and the upcoming game looks to be a good one as a result. The Blues are 5-0 in their last five games playing on zero days rest and 39-19 in their last 58 Tuesday games. The Kraken are 5-2 in their last seven home games and 2-5 in their last seven overall. The over is 7-2 in Blues' last nine overall. The under is 13-5-1 in Kraken last 19 overall. The Blues are 4-0 in the last four meetings. The favorite is 4-0 in the last four meetings. St. Louis has not lost to Seattle in four matchups. In the four meetings between these two teams, the Blues averaged 3.75 goals per game and the Kraken averaged 1.25 goals per game. Seattle has scored more than one goal in just one of four meetings against the Blues. St. Louis is playing well, having won four straight games. Seattle is struggling, losing five of their last seven games. The Seattle Kraken will have the edge at home with the rest advantage, but there's no doubt they've cooled off over the last couple of weeks and the defense has taken a step back. The St. Louis Blues are on the end of a back-to-back, -back, but they're playing their best hockey of the season and they've actually had success this year on the end of back-to-backs. The value is with the Blues and the plus money, so the St. Louis Blues money line is our full game side pick. The Blues should pile on the goals against a Kraken defense that has allowed 11 goals in the last three games with Jordan Cairo, Robert Thomas, and the rest of the forward unit controlling the puck in the offensive zone and finding open shots with quick passes. The Kraken, who averaged 3.43 goals per game, should run up the score against the Blues, who allow 3.65 goals per game, with Andre Burakovsky, Jordan Ebro, Matthew Beniers, and the rest of the forward unit crashing the net on the rush and creating open shots with effective puck movement while Vince Dunn and Justin Schultz generate shots on the net from the blue line. With both defenses struggling, I see this game being a high-scoring one with both offenses finding the back of the net at will. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Anaheim Ducks vs. Los Angeles Kings In a SoCal matchup between a couple of teams that have each won two in a row, the Kings host the Ducks. The Ducks had lost three in a row before winning their last two games. The team is still only 3-5-2 to to two in their last 10 games and are in the basement of the Pacific Division with the second-fewest points in the Western Conference. This is Anaheim's first game of the season facing the Kings. The Kings had dropped two games before winning their last two. They are 5-3-2 to three to two in their last 10 game and are in second place in the Pacific Division six points out of first place. The Ducks are 14 to 37 in their last 51 road games and 13 to 43 in their last 56 overall. The Kings are 4 to 1 in their last five games playing on two days rest and 1 to 6 in their last seven games following a win. The over is 7 to 1 in Ducks last eight overall. The under is 5 to 1 in Kings last six overall. The Ducks are 3 to 7 in the last 10 meetings. The road team is 5 to 2 in the last seven meetings. The favorite is 7 to 3 in the last 10 meetings. The road team has won five of the last seven games between these teams but do not look for that trend to continue. Copley may get another start but I think Quick will get the nod. He has been struggling as of late but has had a break and has not started in over a week. The break will do him well and he will get back in form and play well. It helps that the Los Angeles defense has played well as of late only giving up two goals in each of their last two games. The Kings offense has not been great lately and they will be decent in this game facing a Ducks team that ranks last in the NHL in goals allowed per game. The Kings attack will be okay but their defense will be better than that. So the Los Angeles Kings to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick.
The Kings have only given up two goals in each of their last two games and look for them to play good defense in this game. The Ducks have scored nine goals in winning their last two games but rank second to last in the league in goals per game and they will revert back to a low-scoring team in this one. However, even though Anaheim ranks last in the NHL in goals against average, they have been pretty good on defense in the last two games and that will continue. This Pacific Division clash will not see the lamp lit often. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Calgary Flames vs. San Jose Sharks The Calgary Flames face the San Jose Sharks with both teams looking to improve from rough starts to the season. The Flames have a 14-12-6 record while the Sharks have a 10-17-6 record and with only three wins in their last 10 games, have fallen to the bottom of the Pacific Division. Both teams are looking to improve in the division and the Western Conference and the upcoming game should be a good one as a result. Calgary is 5-16 in their last 21 road games and 1-5 in their last six games. The over is 4-1 in Calgary's last five games and the under is 5-2 in their last seven road games. San Jose is 14-38 in their last 52 games and 7-21 in their last 28 home games. The over is 4-1 in San Jose's last five home games. The road team is 6-1 in these two teams' last seven head-to-head -head meetings. The Calgary Flames just picked up a 5-2 road win on Sunday over the San Jose Sharks, so they should be able to do it once again. The ability to get shots up on goal is critical to get some goals scored as the Flames are 5th in the NHL with 34 shot attempts per game while the Sharks are 21st in hockey with 29.8 shot attempts per game up to this point. The ability to score short-handed goals also can be great as Calgary has scored four goals while San Jose has only scored once. Calgary was able to snap their losing streak, but they have struggled to score goals this season. San Jose has a similar goal-scoring issue, but their defense is allowing 3.52 goals against per game. So the Calgary Flames to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Sharks, who average three goals per game, should create plenty of scoring chances with Tomas Hurdle, Logan Couture, and the rest of the forward unit carrying the puck into the offensive zone and creating open shots with quick passes while Eric Carlson generates shots on the net from the blue line. The Flames, who average three goals per game, should run up the score against a Sharks defense that has allowed eight goals in the last two games with Nazem Kadri, Tyler Toffoli, Elias Lindholm, and the rest of the forward unit crashing the net on the rush and creating open shots with great puck movement while defenseman Rasmus Anderson and Noah Hannafin pick apart the Sharks' defense from the point. Both teams have been led by their offenses and the upcoming game should reflect that with both forward units finding the back of the net throughout the game. This will be a high-scoring game with both offenses stepping up. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.